Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. My name is Spider Hearts, and welcome back to my base. So I haven't really gotten much done since our last video. I set up these vines so that I could make some mossy cobblestone and some mossy brick. We need to rebuild the house upstairs, but uh, I need a handful of different resources before I get started, mainly sand. I'm thinking of heading out to spawn and setting up a small outpost there and collecting sand while I'm there. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that, mainly I need to collect resources to go out there. I need a handful of shovels, some enchanted tools, but I don't have enchantments yet. Oh hey, I can't buy anything from you, but what are you selling? That cactus would be nice, but I can't buy anything from you right now. I also need to get back to the village over there. I have checked up on the villagers that I've got. Mostly they're trapped so they can't really do anything at the moment. I'm worried about raids because I've set the difficulty to hard. To get started on my giant list of things that I need to do, I'm gonna set up a small tree farm over there so that I can get the things I need to set up a small outpost back at spawn and then just go do that. So I've got a rudimentary tree farm kind of set up. It's not the perfect system, but it's the system I have right now. Basically, this is just a plot of land and I'm just gonna plant trees in this plot of land. I will have to expand the plot of land as I need more trees, but this is what I'm going to do for now. Next, I'm going to need wood for building, um, and I'm going to want to plant seeds and saplings so that I don't have to come back and forth for things like food or wood. I'm also going to need some boats, which if I bring a few stacks of wood, I probably can make boats when I get there as well as going to need like lanterns and buckets for things. So I can just bring some blocks of iron instead, as well as blocks of coal. My thought is once I get there, I can make a little oasis for the outpost to sit in. In that oasis, I'm going to need water and grass and flowers as well as other things that someone would need if they were living out in the desert. Probably not the vines, but if I don't continually harvest the vines, then I end up with a curtain of vines, and I don't like that. Probably have enough vines at this point. So I'm just gonna like get started on what I would need, maybe a couple of stacks of oak as well as some saplings for oak. My guess is that I'm going to be using mostly oak planks and spruce for the outpost itself. Um, I'm also going to need a bed so I might as well bring some wool with me as well as some seeds. I'm not going to bring all the iron I have with me, maybe about half bones for bone meal. Uh, I might want maybe a stack of gravel and a stack of cobble and stone. Oh yeah, I said I was going to need dirt. Let's just grab a whole bunch of that. Once I get there, I can also start digging down and getting resources in that area. 
let's just leave a little bit of space in the inventory for some stuff and let's bring a chest with us right away just so that we can plop everything we need into the chest when we get there uh, going to need a boat right away but there's a couple of boats up here it's night time so I think I'm ready to go I'm just gonna get going I'll see you there so I have made it back to close to spawn it's not quite exactly at the spawn point and honestly I could probably figure out where spawn is from here but I don't necessarily want to do that at the moment just kind of scouting out the area I could put it right there where I've kind of set up camp I could put it right here where there's a natural little lake here or I could put it up on one of these hills here which would make sense for an outpost let's say it's up here or over there where you can overlook more area there's another little sort of natural divot I could I could put water here and then connect this to there and just kind of have a small stream that connects to the ocean and then have the outpost kind of on this hill here I'm gonna have the outpost tower on this hill here kind of have the oasis kind of flow down this way then into this little divot here and put a lake here and then have the water flow into this lake and then down into the ocean and then I can fence off this area here for crops and trees and flowers uh, I'm just gonna kind of get started on that so I was working on digging out this lake so that it could connect to the ocean and the sand underneath me opened up to this ravine here. I'm gonna have to block that up. All right, guys, I've been working on building up this hill here. I've kind of worked on making it look more like it's kind of a stone slab that just kind of naturally formed here. My resources are pretty limited at the moment, so what I've got here is what I had to work with. I created this sort of fence post around the area to sort of keep mobs out of the area and I've built up this oasis that has some wheat growing here. I figure whoever is now living here needs to grow some food but there's limited nutrients in the soil so not all of the crops will grow and not everything is going to work out okay. 
I've also kind of created this nice little stream that kind of runs into the ocean. I've tried to build up some of the dirt along the shoreline, but like I said, I've run out of dirt. So this is what I've got to work with. I Ideally, I would like this to be grass, but I don't have any grass blocks, so none of this dirt is going to end up turning into grass. The next step is to build up the outpost tower on this hill, so I'm just gonna work on that right now. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna have to talk over this one because it seems I lost some footage. I believe I had recorded the time lapse from when I started the structure, but if I didn't hit record or if OBS just decided not to save the recording, it's no longer in my folder. So I, you're just going to have to imagine the part where I started. I hope that's okay. How are you guys doing out there? I know it's kind of a weird time. I hope you're doing okay, and I don't know how to finish this segment. All right, guys. So this is the outpost that I created at near spawn, including this nice little stream down to the ocean. So let's say I have died and my bed has become obstructed for some reason and I'm back at spawn. This would be the place that I would go to make sure that I can get back safely. Something else too is that I've dug a ladder down. It doesn't go all the way down to 11, but if I wanted to, I could. This would be a storage room. This would be just sort of a rudimentary place for things to go. And the bed would be up here, or it should be up here, will be up here. I'm going to put a bed and a table here and make it look like someone lives here. Uh, there's a another room that I could put stuff in up here. I'm not really sure what to put up here yet. Maybe I'll make that more of a living room and then put the bed here, which would make sense. And then up here, it's just a overlook of some sort. So the only thing really left to do is to test it out and make sure that it that this is the best solution. It should. I believe it will work, but it's always worth it to check. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So, like I said before, I'm going to be working on gathering up some sand to bring back to the base. I'll be spending some time filling out this outpost and making it look more lived in. And I might do some resource gathering down, down at Y11. So that'll be everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!